So in this video I'm going to talk to you about energy and um, specifically energy involved in skiing. We're here in Morzine in the French Alps and we're going to do some physics of skiing. So when you go up the lift you gain a form of energy which is called gravitational potential energy which is equal to your mass times gravitational acceleration times the height that you're lifted through. So it's proportional to the height. More height more gravitational potential energy. So the higher up the lift you are, you are the more gravitational potential you have. So energy is one of the few absolute things in physics, okay, and there's a really important law called the law of conservation of energy. And it states that energy can't be created or can't be destroyed. So you can't just get rid of it. Okay, you have to transfer it to some other form. So you've been taken up the ski lift and you've been given all of that gravitational potential energy. Now that is going to be transferred into something else. So when we're coming down the slope, that gravitational potential energy is transferred into kinetic energy. But we want to be able to control that descent. If you imagine just something falling through a vacuum with no air resistance, no drag, no friction or anything, all of that gravitational potential energy is going to be transferred into kinetic energy. And there are ways we can work that out, which I've got in another video that I'll put a card to here. But when we're skiing, we don't want it. To, uh, to go as fast as we possibly can, we want to control our descent. And even if you're absolute daredevil, you still need to be able to control your descent, otherwise you will have a bad time. Um, so where does it go? Well, what we do is we use friction. We use friction between the skis and the um, snow to actually transfer that energy into heat. And I know that sounds a bit strange we're talking about something as cold as snow, but we're actually, when we're making those turns and controlling our descent, we're actually transferring the energy mainly into heat and also into some sound energy as well. So when we're at the top of the lift, we can say we've got the maximum gravitational potential energy. And all that energy has to go somewhere because of the law of conservation of energy. And we're going to transfer that into kinetic energy, which is like movement energy, and into heat energy and sound energy as we control our descent by making turns and sliding. So I hope that was useful to you, I hope that's going to help you with your understanding so you're more confident and so that you enjoy your physics and so you do better in those exams. If you've got any comments then do post them below and if you feel like that's the type of video for you, why not subscribe to see some more.